see how this goes. We have two videos going, so you can see it from two different angles. So let's begin. Now, we have our little hills here. They go up and they go down. A big hill and a tiny hill. And remember, what we're doing is we're going to see if it matters where we put these marbles so that they can go all the way to the goal. Now, the video said that there's no alligator at the end, that it's a cup, but I like the alligator, so I kept him. So let's see our first one. So we have four trials that we are doing, and we're going to do it four different times. And remember, our goal is to get the marbles into the alligator, because I guess we're vicious in this fourth grade. We're gonna have them be eaten. So let's start. Our first one, we have our marble in the valley. So I'm gonna put them down here in the valley, and I'm gonna put my other one up top, and then we're gonna see where they end up. So I'm gonna mark it on the sheet where they end up. Are we ready? Mr. Wibbly's not, because I need my marker and highlighter. So now Mr. Wimbley's ready. So here's trial one with High Hill in the Valley. Huh, they both ended up in that same spot. So I'm just gonna mark where they both ended up. And now let's do it again. I'm going to do the same thing, one in the valley and one up top. And let's see what happens. Huh, it's the same thing again. So I'm not gonna mark it on here, so this is the exact same thing. So I'm going to put it back here on the valley. If he'll stay, there we go. And one, two, three. Nope, it looks like they ended up in that same spot again. So we have one more try. And let's see if it's different this time. A little paper clip's coming a little off, so I'll just put it back on. Ready, set, go. Huh, so it looks like in our experiment that it doesn't really change. So they're gonna stay in the same spot. So on my sheet, I'm gonna mark, ooh, there we go. Those two little dots right there. That's where my marbles were. And I guess I'll make them a little bigger. So now we're gonna do it on the medium hill. So our medium hill is right up top. And I want you guys to think, if I put the marble, ooh, I guess you can go downhill pretty well. If I put the marble right up top, what do you think is going to happen when I release the marble from the high hill? Is it gonna be the same? Is it going to end up back here? Probably not, since the marble's up here. So let's find out. Now we're doing this four times. Here's experiment one. One. Oh, and it looks like one made it through and one ended up here. So I'm gonna put that on my trial. One, and one made it in my goal. So let's do our next one now. Came out of the alligator, and we're gonna put it right up here. Ready, set, go. Huh, that one, this time, I'm gonna put a one on top, one on top. This time we had one here, trial two, and trial two, it went all the way out again. So let's try our next one. Are we ready? Right here, and right here. Ready, set, go. Ah, oh, three different trials. One, and it got stuck on that high hill. Three, and three. So now, let's try our next one. Dun, dun, dun. Put it right here. Ready, set, go. And almost, so this one was a little interesting because we had four trials and four different results. So look at what we got for this one. This one was all over the place. So before we draw any conclusions, let's try our next one. We're gonna put it in the valley down here. So it was called our teardrop valley. Now we're gonna start up on high hill. And let's see how well it goes. Ready, set, go. Oh, those ones both stopped in the valley. So let's see if trial number two is going to be any different. So again, we have one in the valley. And start right up top. Ready, set, go. Oh, 
So now we'll do trial number three. Ready, set, go. Still stayed. So let's try our last one now. Ready, set, go. Uh, so this one, every single time that trial three, it ended up in the same spot. So it ended up in that valley. So now let's try our next one, which is our last experiment. So we have one on low hill, and we have one that's gonna start all the way at the top. So do you have a hypothesis which you think might happen? Well, I think since it started on top of a hill like it did in experiment two, I think we might get some stuff that appears all over the place, some different results each time. So let's find out. Ah, so it went in one time. So let's see if we can duplicate that one or if it becomes another example, another experiment. Oops, that one popped out a little bit, so I'm just pushing it back down. Ready, set, go. Ah, so it looks like this one's trading again. So it's the same. Our next one, this guy, I'm going to slide over a little bit because I'm going to push him down good. There's our next one. Number three. Oh, we almost made it. And look, this one was different because it went backwards. So I'm going to put a three on this one because that was trial three. This one is one and two, one and two. So let's see if experiment four is any different. Ready, set, go. Yeah, so this one ended up the same as one, two, and four. So now let's get going with our last portion. So what did you notice about that one? Well, what I noticed, it didn't matter what type it was, whether it was in this valley or this valley, but if it started in a valley, it couldn't go above that valley. So if it started at the bottom, it didn't have enough energy to make it top of the hill. Now, our hill ones, I noticed, if they were on top of the hill, they were able to go down the next valley, and they could go into the other location. A lot of the time, it even made it to the goal. Actually, what was interesting was every single one of these, except for one time in the high, or one time in the medium and one time in low, every single time we got in that alligator's mouth. So it looks like this energy up here was enough to get it to that alligator's mouth. Now we did have some funky things go on where it would hit and then it rolled backwards. So maybe something's going on with that energy. But every single time it was able to hit and drive that first one forward. So, what do you notice about it? And how can you explain this in terms of energy? That's what you guys are going to be thinking about today. So what I noticed was, I noticed a pattern that when I start both the hill bar and both bar the top of the hills, then it was much more likely for it to reach the goal. And how can I explain this pattern in terms of energy? Well, height, or in this case hills, give things energy. When I start the marbles at the top of the hill, they have enough energy to make it to the goal at the end. Now there are going to be some things that will affect it, whether it's straight, whether it's crooked, whether it's flat completely, because you'll notice some of mine, they weren't flat, they are kind of bumping up a little bit, so it wasn't as smooth. So all those will affect the energy, but in general, hills give things energy because of the height. When I start from the top of the hills, they have enough energy to make it to the goal at the end. Good luck guys, and if you were brave enough to try this yourselves, you did amazing.